Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next video, and this one I'm showing you guys the Golem Avalanche attack, slash go we, uh, surgical go we, whatever you guys call it, with the mass golems kind of surgically around the base, used by low level Town Hall 9s, so we're talking kind of bottom of the map for One Hive Genesis. And I'll get to those attacks in just a moment. First one, just talk about the war real quick because I probably won't do a war recap of it. Just not a whole lot of great attacks to show besides these few that you're going to see. Um, good job to both sides. Just a random match against We Are Spartans and they brought it. We had a Town Hall advantage. Um, wasn't our best war. I think they left one Town Hall 9 two-starred and then everything up top was three-starred. The 9.5 was three-starred. Um, yeah, everything up top was two-starred. And we left quite a few Town Hall 9s uh, not three-starred, but we were able to get the, the ones up top three-starred, uh, two and four, which were huge for us. And then the percentage got the win, because typically if you have more three-stars, the percentage will be higher. But anyway, um, the focus of this video, as you can tell by the title, is on some surgical go we slash golem avalanche attacks by low-level Town Hall 9s. Because um, I know you guys want to see the low-level Town Hall 9 as far as, like, l lower than 20 heroes. And uh, this is a great attack for uh, low-level Town Hall 9s. And you think it wouldn't be just because it's it's an attack that requires a lot of golems. And I always say don't bring that many golems if you have low-level heroes. But for this one, I think it actually works out well. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because the lower-level bases have lower-level point defense which makes the golem stay up longer. And also you have to bring a lot of wizards and those are still powerful regardless of your hero level. So I'm, I'm not sure why, but it works at low level Town Hall 9 gameplay. And uh, we'll take a look at Smog doing it here. Basically what you do is you come in on these dead zone bases. This one actually isn't dead zone, but there is kind of that gap of space in the middle where there's nothing that can target. Um, or there's no point defense or anything, not even splash damage. There's just kind of the mortar and the air sweeper, and then the town hall, a few non-defensive buildings. So you have that gap in defenses, and you just kind of want to work your way around the base in a circle. Right here um, comes through with the first few golems, the queen, uh, the jump spells, letting everything move forward. The king gets targeted pretty quickly, and he goes down early. Same with the queen. She's getting targeted, has to pop the ability, I believe. Or no, he keeps her up. She's, she's okay for right now. But everything was getting really low here, so... Uh, does pop the ability right there. So it doesn't look like it's going to work out well, but these wizards are really powerful behind the golems. If you can keep them alive, your heroes aren't as important. Because uh, look at all these wizards back here shooting down the cannon. Uh, he wall breakered in with that next golem working his way around the base. I believe I did an attack strategy on this, uh, on this attack before, if you check back a few videos. So if you want like the details of how exactly to do this, you can check back and see kind of how to do it. But for right now, I'm just going to show some of the attacks. Anyway, though, uh, comes in with the next golem, some wizards to back it up. Uh, the wall breaker is just working its way around the base. Has one more jump spell uh, to connect everything in just a moment. Those golems still out in front tanking. Has a lot of wizards still up. You need those wizards. They're going to be huge. They're kind of your damage dealers, especially when you have low-level heroes. You need uh, the, the DPS coming from the wizards, or else the golems are just kind of going to be landlocked and not do a whole lot. So anyway, these wizards shoot down the Teslas. The queen actually manages to stay up, so she's going to help get some damage going. But the wizards are really what's going to do the damage for you at these low-level Town Hall 9 attacks. Um, the golems are pretty much destroyed. There's a few golemites left, but pretty much the whole base is done. Uh, just has the two defenses left. I'll go ahead and go times two. As everything makes its way in, got every last stone of that golem used. Right there, that last golem barely stays up. The last golemite, I should say. So got every last bit of rock from those golems, and uh, that's what you want. You don't want the wizards or the heroes taking damage. You want the golems to take the damage because they have a lot of hit points, and if you bring five of them, that's enough for a whole base, especially when they have under-level point defense like a lot of these low-level Town Hall 9s do. All right, let's take a look at Christian taking on 23 and uh, another surgical uh, go we slash golem avalanche, pick your favorite word, attack. Uh, you can see only has the three jump spells, so you don't need to bring four jump spells. If three can connect the whole base, that'll do it. You know, just that's cool. Um, bring a heal for a few hogs or just for your troops in general or bring a rage. Uh, just only bring as many jumps as you need. Don't feel like you have to bring four. Comes in here and like I said before, you see where that dead space is? Just kind of, kind of, kind of work his way around the base from one end to another 
And uh, the reason it works against these dead space bases is because nothing can flank your troops. The golems are going to be out in front. There's nothing in those two compartments right there where the dead space is to shoot his wizards down. So everything has to target the first thing in their sight, which will be the golems. And then once he gets to the bottom here, he'll come in with the next golem and make sure that everything's targeting that golem. And basically just work his way around the base and uh, it works out nice that the wizards stay alive and his heroes are actually going to last a lot longer than smogs did. Uh, you want to keep those heroes back behind the golems. Sometimes the, sometimes the king gets out in front, not much you can do, but at least keep the queen up. Uh, so it works out great here. If there are Teslas in the core, that can screw it up a little bit. But right here, the Teslas are just in the normal part of the base by all the other defenses, which is great. Uh, making his way around the base. And he did drop these minions at the beginning of the attack in various places. That allows your wizards to not have as much to deal with. They can basically enter the base a lot quicker and uh, you'll get more damage going faster. That heal was great. It's just going to heal up the golems, the king, the wizards, just the entire group of troops in that area. They're going to be under heal when they deal with all that point defense. So the Tesla farm isn't going to do much damage. Everything making its way around. He still has four golems up that haven't busted. Four full-size golems. So it just shows against these bases that might not have max cannons or you know some max splash damage or whatever, uh, those golems are not going to break. So as long as you keep them out in front of your wizards, you can get the three star against these bases that don't have uh, point defense in the middle or something. So works out great here. Good job to Christian getting the three star. We'll keep moving and look at a few more. Uh, just go ahead and go times four as these last few buildings go down. Uh, typically not going to run out of time with this strategy, um, but I don't know. Stranger things have happened. Anyway, though, uh, 24 is next base. As you can see here, we're kind of scraping the bottom of the war uh, just because the low-level Town Hall 9s, for whatever reason, have been using it more. And uh, maybe it's just the low-level Town Hall 9s on the other clan built these dead zone bases. That might be it. Uh, but I think at you know new Town Hall 9, it has some kind of appeal. For whatever reason, it just works well. Maybe it's the point defense, like I said. But anyway, comes in here with a few balloons, just these one-for-one -one trades on the mortars. And like I said, those minions going down um, just to clear out some of this trash, make it a little bit easier on the wizards so they don't have to clear out as much. The golems don't get too far out in front. Uh, so like I said, I think I talked about this in, in a uh, mini tip video. Those minions down at the beginning really help uh, clear out stuff. And your golems take a lot less damage if the minions can clear out a bunch of buildings because that way the wizards can just follow straight in. They don't get stuck back in all that trash. So you get a lot of value for those minions. But anyway, creates the funnel nice and wide. There goes the first jump. You can see once again that dead space. Um, just want to go parallel to it. You know, let your troops make their way around side it. That one Tesla does drop uh, pop in the core, but it's within reach of his wizards and the queen. So not that big of a threat. Had it been a little bit deeper in, might have caused a little bit more trouble, but right here it goes down pretty easily. And uh, obviously the jump does not connect into the core. That's important. You don't want anything to uh, wander into the core. You want it to continue on that path around the base. Uh, so drop the jump in a perfect place where it's just going to let them move into that next compartment adjacent. And then the next one, uh, just to let them keep moving through, comes in with that next golem at the bottom to reinforce. And I don't know if it matters if it's the max golem that goes in first or goes in later on. It, I think it's just whatever you want to do. The queen does hop into the core right here. So she gets out in front and you can see why that can be a problem because that expo was getting on the wizard and the queen. But luckily uh, they got back out of range and it goes on the golems. So uh, keep things out of the core. You don't want them to go into the dead space area. You want them to walk around the dead space area. Like I said, um, or anyway, these last few golems making their way through. You can see still has four golems still alive, not even busted into golemites. Uh, this is really powerful if you can keep them out in front. These wizards, uh, the golems, they're, they're going to do a lot of damage to all these uh, defenses, especially when you have these level one expos and stuff. So anyway, uh, wizards shoot down the last few defenses, still has the queen's ability. Uh, she's just shooting down all these uh, buildings behind the golems. And I'll go ahead and fast forward as the three star is achieved by Smog once again. Awesome job. All right, last base is the bottom one, number 25. We're looking at peaks too soon. Coming in here with yet another Golem Avalanche attack and a few hogs, a few balloons. Um, that's that's good. I like seeing that because uh, it shows they're you know, planning it out and looking at certain defenses that can be targeted and gotten uh, at good value for these uh, defense targeting troops. 
So if you have, you know, some stuff out of range of air defenses, you can drop those instead of, you can drop like a balloon instead of a, a wizard and get the trade there, you know, however, the cheapest way you can do it. But anyway, comes in up top here. This base, once again, it's not exactly a dead zone because a dead zone is typically where there's these little wall pieces in the middle. Uh, this one actually has buildings, but the same principle, unless Teslas are there, it's probably not going to be that big of a, of a threat. So you can just kind of work your way around the, the dead zone of the base, so to speak. Uh, the king does get out in front a little bit, but has the poison for the CC troops. I think he has, the first poison went down for the heroes, uh, which is cool, and then this one's going down for the CC troops. Luckily, the uh, dragon looks like it's on a golem, so that works out great. Already coming in with that next golem, you don't want to be late with this, so you want to start that early, so by the time it wall breakers in and the golem enters the base with the wizards, um, everything's kind of meeting up in that next compartment. Uh, so it comes in there, wizards backing it up, and this basically allows you to come at each compartment from multiple angles and get everything down a little bit quicker when you wall breaker in these golems uh, intermittently along the attack. So you can see he still has one more golem that he wants to come in at the bottom with. And typically that's how you do it, three golems. And then the fourth and the fifth come in like at, you know, a quarter of the way around the base, then half the way around the base. Then everything's kind of in for that last final stretch. So the Tesla farm pops, gonna pop the king's ability in just a moment. He's getting targeted by a few of those Teslas, so uh, I think, or maybe he's not, never mind, just the skelly traps. Anyway, the wall breaker's in with that next golem, uh, great compartment there, it's just a nice long strip for the golem to walk along, and uh, the queen is still up back behind those golems, double bumps that does do a little bit of damage on her, but she's still okay. Wizards making their way through, has those last few hogs, doesn't really even need them, but especially at the end of the base when you can target these defenses with these hogs and they're all distracted on the golems you get great value there um, if there's like a wall in the way because you can see that last jump doesn't extend far enough so sometimes those hogs are great because they can reach the places the golems the wizards can't if you don't have enough jump spells so awesome attack to peak too soon getting the fourth and final three star of the video thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this one some interesting attacks because i know a lot of you guys have asked for the lower level Town Hall 9 gameplay. I'll continue to bring you guys more diverse attacks like with Valks and various stuff, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but anyway, good war to We Are Spartans. Uh, very close, 70-70, and we did have the Town Hall advantage. We had to dip down with our 10s quite a bit, and not everything was three-starred as far as the Town Hall 9s go. So good war, um, and hopefully have some more coverage of a arranged war coming out next weekend. Stay tuned for that, as well as videos leading up to that, as always. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Stack the Tron out.